you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So today I am back with another review video. I know those uh, kind of videos are kind of rare species on my channel because I don't really do review videos. But I was actually uh, lately I was um, really getting some kind of like itch to buy a new foundation. And as you know, like every other brand, every single day. Thousand, thousand, thousand products, so it's like really difficult to keep a track. Go! 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 that is the called skin chill foundation now before i jump into anything let me just show you how does it look. it has a very classic packaging nothing really uh too much to it nothing fancy and the shade is mentioned here and i'm in the shade called zero two very vanilla now uh guys when it comes to the shade range i know there are like a lot of speculation a lot of controversy a lot of negativity is around but let me just tell you guys that in India, brands are like seriously lacking on foundation shades and it is extremely, extremely shameful. I mean, a country where majority of people have darker or warmer skin tones there, uh, like brands are coming up only and only really, really light foundations, which are not really suitable for majority of the skin type. And uh, that is like just so sad and um, I know that people are still kind of complaining that what you guys are talking because every uh, influencer and every beauty blogger has already received their PR package and they have uh, done the swatches and everything so people are actually saying that why you guys are actually uh, saying good things about Nika because in this uh, foundation range there are only four darker skin tone like warmer skin tone um, foundation shades but but let me just tell you guys this brand is actually listening to consumers and they have like taking baby steps so, so i just really think that we should really appreciate it this foundation has total 15 shades and uh, the way they have shown all the shades and the variations the undertones in through a diagram in their website is really remarkable which i will insert in my screen and i will insert a swatch picture as well because because i didn't really receive any pr package so i don't really have all the 15 shades i bought this foundation with my own money so i just bought my own shade and i'm just going to review that for you let me just open it to you guys so this is how uh, the foundation looks it has a very nice matte finish packaging and it looks really classy and this is the shade that here it is mentioned but i'm not really sure whether this part is transparent or not but i just think it's just printed which is again like looks really classy but me myself is not a very huge fan of matte packaging because this kind of packaging really tend to catch all the dust and all the makeup stains really quickly and that's not a very uh, pretty look of your foundation bottle Next, I'm just going to talk about the quantity and the price aspect. Now, this foundation retails for 7.99 rupees, but I got it from the very first offer, like the launching offer. They were giving flat 10% off, so I just got it for 7.19 rupees. So you're just going to get 30 ml of product in this tube. Now let's get into the claims of this foundation. So here it is written: the triple active action formula anti-pollution deep hydration oil control action this is something really new in indian market i can't really uh, think about any foundation which comes under these kind of claims that is called anti-pollution so what exactly uh, like making a barrier from your skin and your foundation and the pollution is the uh, ingredient called biosaccharide gum four. okay so the second claim is deep hydration that i'm about to explore and the third claim is the oil control action now i have like super oil skin so something like this that's why i just picked it up immediately so i'm just going to try this foundation for two or three days and then only i'll be able to 
give you the final verdict and here I am just going to apply the foundation without further ado let's just jump right in so I am here and I am just going to get ready for my normal work uh, stuff so I'm just going to quickly do my makeup but for today I am not going to prime my face I mean I'm not going to apply the primer all over my face because I just want to show you guys how the foundation works alone and uh, like with and without primer so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply primer one side of my face and the other side of my face is not going to be uh, with primer so yeah so uh, the primer I'm going to use is the NYX Total Control Drop Primer, this one is my absolute favorite and I really 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 like it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just taking a few drops on my hands and just applying the half portion of my face. Now applying the foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take like two drops. Yeah. And just going to... Ooh. It has a very thick consistency. By the way, the coverage is like medium to full coverage, so basically it is buildable what they are claiming. But today I am just going for a sheer coverage kind of thing because I don't really do heavy full coverage on a daily to daily basis. So one side I am going to blend with the beauty blender and the other side I am going to blend with my foundation brush. And the beauty blender I am going to use today is from PAC. So. giving me very sheer coverage but that can be because of the beauty blender because we all know that beauty blender tends to soak a little bit of product so that way you will end up adding more product but I always love beauty blender because that way you just have like more control because slowly you can build it up so yeah okay so the other half I'm just going to blend with a foundation brush and the brush I am using is from the Wet n Wild. For my neck I will be using like foundation on my neck as well because it just gives a nice coolness of texture okay so after applying the first layer of uh, the foundation I can uh, totally say that this is giving me a sheer coverage let it be the beauty blender side or let it be the brush side there is no much difference in uh, terms of coverage you can totally see the freckles and marks over here so I think I will be going with another layer just to see if it like really provides me a good coverage or it just cakes me up so yeah I'm just going to apply a little bit more okay so I have uh, applied like almost layers of foundation and uh, now with the coverage I am happy personally but this is again it's not like full full coverage you can still see my freckles here and there but something uh, I'm noticing here guys which I would like to mention that this side I have applied my primer so my pores and my fine lines are appearing a little bit smaller but this side I haven't really applied any primer and if you can see this foundation is actually emphasizing my pores and my smile line like can you see that like yeah there is a fine line and here also like i can see my pores which i'm not really a fan of and um, like here also the foundation is it's not really smooth so i and i have like really large pores around my nose especially in this area also this line can you see is like yeah so this is like really emphasizing my uh, eyebrow line i don't know what to frowning line yeah so <laughs> i 
again I don't really like that what I'm doing is I'll be just finishing the rest of my face I need to do the, like, the whole face and I'll be back Hey guys, so this is how it is looking right after applying it and it is not like giving me a very uh, dry kind of matte finish look. It is giving me a satin matte finish look which it claims so I am super excited to show how it lasts throughout the day and I will just keep you posted. Bye bye. Hey guys, so another update. Uh, right now it's 12 p.m. and I have applied this There are, there is like actually a little bit of sweatiness over here, but that is okay because I really sweat a lot over this portion. So, uh, I am going to set take out the glasses and it's not too much oiliness. I am like really surprised. This is the portion where I have applied my primer and this is the portion where I have not applied my primer. But almost it is looking pretty same and I am really pleasantly um, the foundation is super comfortable to wear and by far I'm just loving it. I will keep you posted so just stay tuned with me. Hey guys, so right now it is 4pm uh, and this is how it is looking right now. Like there is that bit of oiliness here and there. I mean definitely uh, the side which I have applied primer there is a little bit less oiliness but wherever I haven't applied the primer there is more oiliness as you can see however it is like uh, settling down to my pores and my smile line which is not really a good feeling for me I don't know if you can see uh, here I have like tiny bit big pores and here as well those are just getting emphasized and this side smile my I don't know what's wrong with my smile line but this side is not that prominent but this one is really prominent and it is just settling down in it so however um, it's not like really oxidizing which is a great thing for me but uh, till now I really like the way it is looking and uh, yeah I'll just update you at the end of the day as well Hey guys, so right now I am at home after the whole day and uh, right now it's like around 8.30, uh, 8.30 p.m. in the afternoon at night, <laughs> 8.30 p.m. at night and I have actually applied this uh, foundation 8.30 a.m. in the morning so it's almost 12 hours but this is how it is looking right now. I am sweaty, I am like oily but Still, I would like to say that this foundation has done a decent job. There are some places from where it actually came off, uh, like here and here, where my spec sits. So uh, it is like supposed to come off from there. And also, like I don't know if you can see it properly, like the nose part is not really decent. But those things are noticeable, like from here. But from here, I'm pretty damn sure you can't really see the difference. Oh, come up, come up, bacha. come up, good boy, good boy. <laughs> sit here, sit, sit. So uh, obviously my face is like tad bit oily, but that is like really uh, good for me because when I apply any normal foundation, it doesn't really look like this after the whole day and also I haven't really packed my face with a like oil soaking tissue which I generally do though I was dying to do it <laughs> because it has become like a habit for me but for the, uh, this day for this foundation particularly I made sure that I do not do it so basically I haven't really done any touch up now I'm sweating because like <laughs> I can't really uh, switch on my AC or my cooler or my fan because those things are pretty noisy. So yeah, <laughs> right now I'm just sweating. So that's why there is like little bit oiliness and little bit like 
glossy look if you want to see, uh, call it but to be very honest guys i am like decently surprised not decently but i'm pretty surprised with uh the performance of this foundation though this foundation doesn't really claim any kind of like long lasting uh wear time or anything but still this foundation is doing pretty good and if i'm like doing like this nothing is coming off yeah and that is almost after 12 hours of this foundation so <laughs> i will be testing it out for one more day uh, i'm not really sure if i'm going to shoot that or not because the application process and uh, like if i'm going to wear primer or not is like just going to be pretty damn same the today i haven't uh, really applied primer all over my face i just have apply i just did apply uh, the primer in one side of my face so tomorrow i will be applying primer all over my face and i will be applying it on brush or beauty blender maybe like either one of uh, those so i'm not really sure if i'm going to shoot that but definitely i am going to try it out uh, like for one more day and then only i'll be able to tell you my final verdict so just stay tuned for that hey guys so this is day 2 of the application of my foundation and i just really liking it how it is looking today i have applied a full filler primer and that also i have applied like all over my face so today i am just properly prep and prime so <laughs> let's see how it does and i'll just keep you posted for life hey guys good morning so this is the day 3 that i am wearing this foundation i am so sorry i forgot to shoot uh, day 2s like so sorry that i forgot to shoot how it was looking at the end of the day 2 but today is day 3 and this is how it is looking right now i just have applied my foundation i have completed my makeup and hopefully i'll be remembering to shoot today's uh, look like at the end of the day when i am going to remove my makeup how that looks so yeah i'll just keep you posted so i have been using this uh, foundation since last uh two days because thanks to nika the moment i have placed my order the very next day i got mine so i got actually two to three days to test it out before i put my uh, review video on my youtube channel so the thing is guys i really like this foundation it doesn't uh it the stain power is also pretty good i mean it does not have any claim of uh its stain power regardless it has a good stain power as you have already noticed um but the oil control action claim i am not like 100% satisfied when i use my maybelline super stay foundation my oily skin behaves very nicely when i am using that foundation but wherever this one is like actually claims that it is supposed to be like oil control uh supposed to be controlling your oils i am not like 100% satisfied i mean i am more satisfied with my super stay foundation rather than this one actually this foundation is um very similar to the l'oreal mac magic one now l'oreal mac magic uh, mac foundation can be a very good view for this one i am not really sure about the l'oreal mac magic i'm not really sure about the l'oreal mac magic a uh, shade collection i think that mac magic one has better shade range from this one then i would suggest that you should try that uh, and the price aspect is also lesser uh, when it comes to the l'oreal mac magic one l'oreal one retails for i think the 590 Five rupees and this one retails for seven ninety nine rupees. However, this foundation is dermatologically tested and is cruelty free, paraben free. However, the L'Oreal is not a cruelty free brand, so that is a minus for me, and Nykaa one is a plus for me. So now my final verdict: Do I think this is an absolute must-have if you are a makeup junkie? Yes. So is it good for dry skin beauties? If you have like medium dry skin. you can actually use it with a very moisturizing very good moisturizing uh primer or a moisturizer in that case maybe but if you have like very very dry skin i wouldn't say that this is something for you so that was it guys i hope you like my review please be kind to me because i don't really do review videos if you have any suggestion like priyanka you should do review videos like 
this or Priyanka you don't do uh, these things or don't mention these things on your review videos then, then please 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 leave a comment in the comment box below and um, all the makeup products I have used in this video will be mentioned in my description box as I have always do I know like you guys are going to ask thousand and thousand questions on my lip color <laughs> so for that you have to check my description box yes you have to <laughs> so if you like this video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel